Welcome back to another episode of OPL Recaps. I'm your host, Jimmy Jams. In the house, of course, Sergeant Mike Bryant. Folks, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe down below. Let's get into the next episode. But we're back. And we're back. <laughs> That's Cheers, it. my friend. Welcome back. What you drinking? Tea. It's basically warm water. It's always water. It's dirt water. How many times I got to tell you it's always honey. water? <laughs> a little lemon. It's good. A little honey. A little garlic. Were you singing in Vegas? Like ginger. Kind of. Street performance. Oh, wow. But I'm happy to be back. What were you doing out there? Were you like uh, shuffling cards? A little, uh, little <laughs> three eight more, corns? Three, three card money. <laughs> three card money. That's it. That's it. None of that, man. I was doing everything legal in Vegas. Isn't that legal? I don't know. I know it's... uh. Maybe Since that's what that warrants for, I guess. <laughs> Just kidding. So what's up, man? Nothing. You were on vacation? Yeah. I was on vacation. Mm-hmm. Take a little break. Mm-hmm. Downtime from everything, you know. Mm-hmm. Bike week, NASCAR. And now this week the show's on vacation. So yeah. here we are. Here we are. Giving them the best that we've got. That's it. That's all we could do. That's it. That's it. That's, that's it. it. That's it, baby. So what do we have? What do you want to talk about? That was Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to go back? Uh, no. All right. A little too much spending money. I got you. Listen, I miss the fans. There were fans there. They were everywhere. Uh, yeah. In the most random places. And Reddit. I guess, you know, that's the place to be. I got to check Reddit out. What happened this time? Too. You're on Reddit and, <laughs> you know, meeting fans here and there and good time. having a good old time. I was like, look at this guy. Right. He can't get away from me. But I still spent time Friday night and Saturday night catching up with everything that was going on. You're like a machine. Well, I've been called worse by better people. All right. Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> Friday night. Yeah. No Dan. Dan the man. Taking a vacation. As he should. Yeah. Just like all of us. <laughs> Perfect timing. We, we planned it all. It was all planned. You know? Yeah, it was. Wait. Dan with you? Well, that, we can't talk about that. <laughs> Dan, holler at me, man. Miss you, buddy. Friday night. Uh, Friday night. Mm-hmm. It, it kicked off. Yeah, it did. Let's talk about Friday night, the opening of the show. Yeah. Um, two weeks ago, uh, they opened the show in Indian River County with a felony <laughs> stop that I had some strong opinions about. We're not going to talk about that. But Friday night, Fontana opens the show, and that felony stop was perfect. Would, could you, would you agree with that? I would, because I think California just has the resources and the time just to say, we're going to wait this out, and we're going to piece by piece by piece put all the puzzles together, and then here's the big picture, and now we all work together. I think they are just methodical about their approach for everything. Right. As much people say, just get in there and do it or whatever, they, you know, mm -hmm. people are preaching. Like, mm -hmm. they just, they have a routine. So, they stick to it. Well, what I saw, what I noticed was, in Indian River County, there was... <laughs> Breaking news. What I no what noticed was, in Indian River County, two weeks ago, he had backup. There was a dog there. It was just a little convoluted. Uh, in Fullerton and also in Fontana, he waited for a backup uh, Friday night, uh, did the felony stop, cool, calm, collected, gave him clear instructions. Mm -hmm. Everything worked out fine. Now, of course, the suspect wasn't irate like he was in Indian River. Okay, don't get yeah. me wrong. But that doesn't change our tactics. Okay, we still do things the right way. Mm -hmm. And it was done the right way. My hat is completely off to him. Um, he did a great job. What is that, uh, Officer Joe... Richard? Richard, yeah. Good Joe for him, Richard. man. Excellent job. Shout out Joe Richard, man. If you're watching, good stuff when I filmed and stopped that stolen vehicle. I enjoyed that. It was by the book. It was. It was good stuff. Yeah. I like, uh, I like California just because you always see what they do. And it's like, all right, like everybody should just try a different approach and try this way. And right. See if that might better a situation or an outcome. Right. But there are basic ways to do law enforcement. With that being said, and then uh, he did it the right way. And then you notice when they went to search the vehicle, <laughs> there was all kind of drugs in the trunk. 
There's no the way things. that suspect uh, put that stuff the there. So he was alluding to it be, being another jurisdiction stolen vehicle. So they have to handle the charges if there are any on the narcotics in the trunk mm-hmm. of that car. So uh, that just yeah, shows you. What, 10 minutes he had the car. Like, yeah. Right. There's no way he loaded it up and then uh, <laughs> <laughs> drove away. Perhaps it was a drug deal going bad. That was my first thought. But I was like, you know what? I'm not going to. I'm no reckless right. speculation. Here. Reckless speculation. We have to play reckless speculation music. But he. The driver just pulled over. That's very rare. He did. Man. That's very what rare. made me think it might have been a drug deal because yeah. he just pulled over like. Yeah. You know how they. Oh, you know, I traded this for this car, you yeah. know, and yada, yada, yada. He didn't say that. No. One can speculate. Yep. Speculate with us, will you, uh, Recaps family? <laughs> Uh, Lee County, the DoorDash driver, that was a nightmare of a call. I, so many things going on. Yeah. I just think, like, the DoorDash driver just dropped the ball. Like, old boy had the basket with the sign, sign. leave my stuff here. That's it. That's it. And what are you confused about? I mean, when we get DoorDash or Walmart stuff dropped off, we click, you know, leave at the door. Same thing. Same thing. What are you worried about? Like, you got your money, you got, you know, there goes the food, done. Who cares if it's raining? Just leave it out I don't think it was raining. I don't think it was raining. But that, you know, and then the guy comes out with a pipe or a bat or whatever it was. Like, listen, DoorDash, man, drop the food and run. Yeah. That's it. Beat it. But how about this? And don't call the cops. Because that that speaks to a different subsect of society where we have to be law enforcement, we have to be counselors and yep. mediators and we have to be parents to people yep. and it's just not a great you put the cops in a bad spot because yeah. you saw when he went to the house he knew what he was, his plan of action was it was going to go sideways yep. who cares if the guy had a lock on the outside of the door and you don't know how he's going to get his food maybe he locked all the doors, he crossed the window or has a cross space, who cares maybe he was concerned about his rating it, hey. it definitely got a bad rating <laughs> you, now you definitely got a bad rating Drop it there oh in the basket. God. Peace out. That's yeah. what you should have did. Yeah. But End of story. End of story. Was it? Because he might have to go back and drop some more food off one day. Oh, he's definitely going to drop us up. Because you know, old boy ain't leaving the house. No, He no, locked no, himself he, in. Some type of recluse. He's like, oh, just, I got one little door I sneak out of that <laughs> at night, and that's it. <laughs> it's the doggy door. It is. Oh, exactly Lee it is. County. God bless you. Uh, next up was Daytona with old Richie and uh, the Embry Riddle kid that got into an accident. Yeah, yeah. Listen, listen, that kid was just next level. Mm-hmm. Richie did a good job though. He's yeah. Just like, just calm down, fella. Just calm stroke, down. Stroke, stroke it a little bit. Stroke the That's eagle it. A little bit. That's it. I, I was like, how do you fast forward this kid? Because I was like, oh my <laughs> god. Like, let's just calm down, fella. Yeah, just a little bit. Um. I guess the first accident would be that way. I can remember my daughter getting into a crash. We were terrified. They were worse. Um, so, yes, the first crash, oftentimes it is a very shocking experience. And God forbid there's another one. We'll take the one and that's it. But, uh, yes, Lieutenant Barr, as usual, uh, with the gift of gab and the silver tongue, just kind of worked it right out. And um, God bless him, man. That kid was able to... Uh, Walk away from that. Yeah. Everybody walked away from it. Yeah. Thankfully, flipping a car yeah. over is not easy. No. But good Samaritans were to the rescue. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta love those good Samaritans, you know. They're in the right place at the right time. I'm thankful they're willing to help. Yeah, that's always yep. a good thing. Yeah, man. I thought you were gonna say something. No. I was like, this guy's no. got something he wants to get off I'm, his chest real quick. No, we're good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Lee County, though. Yeah. Mm. What do you got? They were uh, they had a hit and run crash, all sorts of stuff going on. I don't know. Yeah. Um, it started off with a hit and hit, sort of a hit and run. Yeah. But they swapped drivers. Yeah. And listen, I was mad because the cop was following the the, the red truck. Regular speeds. Regular speeds. He yeah. has hazard lights on. Cop has his cherries and berries on. So, you know, I understand there's no chase policy maybe for that department, but 
you're, you're literally doing five, 10 miles an hour. Just follow the car. Like, even if you shut your lights off just to say, okay, I'm not chasing him. Yeah. I'm just seeing where he's going. Just, like, where he's going. And then that could have just ended that whole right. scenario, I think. I right. mean, maybe it's different on your end. Right. You know, maybe you would have crashed into him and gone, yeah, no, no, I'm kidding. I don't think so. Um, but, I mean, on your end, like. Every department does have different policies. And obviously, we're in Florida. Most of our Florida departments have the same type of chase policies, with the exception of Florida Highway Patrol. They do what they want. Uh, but here's a quick story. Story time. You ready for this? Let's go. I love stories. All right. This case is closed, um, so we can talk about this. And you're getting it fresh here. Me and uh, Sergeant Booth were night shift sergeants one night. One of my guys goes to pull a car over, like, like ran a light and had no lights on. The car doesn't stop. But the car is dr driving 30, yeah. 25, 30 miles an hour. Um, so it's 2, 3 in the morning, no big deal. So I authorize sticks. I go, Stick it. This guy. Okay, let's go with it. I mean, he's not going that fast. We're behind it. Shut your lights off. We're up ahead of it. Tell us the direction of travel. We'll stick it. That'll stop him. Maybe. Well, it stopped him. Um, however, uh, when we got the guy out of the car, um, uh, he was deaf. Oh, no. That doesn't negate the fact that there are blue lights on behind him. So he still went to jail for the fleeing and eluding. Okay, okay. And he was a block away from home, too. And guess what? Still took him. Four flats on a Cadillac. Four flats on a Cadillac, baby. Towed the car. You go to jail. Same. You get tickets. And it's just the rules, right? So, it's yes. It's true. It's true. I mean, turn off your lights. They call it ending the, the, the pursuit phase. You're terminating the pursuit, if you will. You follow them in the car to safe distance, obeying all traffic laws. It's about being all traffic laws. Follow it to the house. Gets out of the car 10 15. If he doesn't, if he takes off, it's not, hey, it's not my problem. So I would have liked to see um, him, you know, follow the vehicle, but his supervisors obviously have the, the last say on that one. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you this. I see you got all the new fancy patrol vehicles. You yeah. got all the big push bars on them. Yeah. Extra lights. Mm. Can you use those push bars? We can. Uh, we're not, we don't have a um, pit maneuver policy. We haven't trained in that, but we can block cars in. Um, we can use them to obviously help push cars out of the road or something. All right. So. Well, For I'm now. Not sure. Like, For now. If somebody's going and you're like, oh, let me give them a little pit to end this. A little helpful nudge into a yeah. tree or a curb. Nope. Or just a ditch, you know, nope. a nice nope. gradual. Mm -hmm. But you know who does have pit maneuver capability? The Lucia County Sheriff's Office. Shout out, she, uh, uh, Sheriff Chitwood. Shout out to you. Uh, hey, Fontana, the Airbnb girl, she just... <laughs> I was like, what kind of call is this going to be? You know, you're expecting the worst. You're all hyped up, right? You're going to yeah. go to the scene. Yeah. Somebody's breaking into houses. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, civil issue. That's it. Wrong place. Wrong time. Or right time. Depending on what you ask. I mean, hey. <laughs> at least you can get charges dropped on you, right? You're I, on vacation. Yeah. Maybe on probation. Is that how it goes? Something like that. I think we've all been there before, though, right? I've been to the wrong area. Probation? Before. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, probation. okay. Sure. I got off probation years ago. Good, good, good. But I've been to the wrong Airbnb before and tried to get in. I'm like, the heck, so I'm hitting the handle. I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, this is the wrong number. Somebody's going to think I'm breaking in this place. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's it's troubling. But <laughs> this is part life, of the, life goes on. Everybody seems to be okay with it. 2024, baby. Let's go. That's it. Airbnbs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, the Toledo guy. All messed up, drugged up, whatever you want to call it. Let me ask you about situations like that. Do you come across them with superhuman strength where you're like, we need more people now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we've been there. We talked about that before, like the excited delirium, um, being on psychedelics or whatever they're on, and it gets a little wild. So I think you ended up going for what, the narcotics, resistance. Yeah. Um, obstruction, or he failed to identify himself or something like that as well? Yeah, did you see the little thing that popped out of his pocket? What was that? Oh. What do you think that was? I, I don't know. Hair tie? <laughs> <laughs> Why you should always wear gloves. They always wear gloves. You tell us in the comments what that was that popped out of his pocket. Because I'm not sure what it was. I'm, but it was something interesting. If you saw Friday night's episode, comment below. Washer for hose? 
A ring. That's what it was. We'll call it a ring. There, there you go. A That's ring. It. Of sort. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a time. You can't make this stuff up in this profession. No, of course not. It's just, just probably get, the stories probably go on for days. I mean, every night could probably be just a every, little book. 24-7. Yeah, it could be. Just write a little little novel of your... Yeah. We on 12-hour shifts? Uh, most patrol units are 12-hour shifts. Me being in investigations, I'm on 10-hour 10, 10 shifts. So, good times. Um, let's jump over to Fontana. They were busy. They were. They, they had were. several calls. The lady that accused her husband of stalking, that was... Her husband. It's, it's so weird because, A, you're trying to get a divorce since 2016. Uh-huh. Let's just, just sign right here and let's get this over with. Somebody said that record's probably purged by now. That's a long time. You, you, you put that in the system and it, it ain't done yet. It's probably not getting done. That makes sense. But Somebody want to break same, up. Same. <laughs> Cheaper to keep. You, you heard that before, right? Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> Sometimes not worth it. No. Uh <laughs> But, I mean, how do you go about that? Like, you know, Apple AirTags and stuff like that. That's so easy to get. You can just drop that anywhere. Correct. You come Correct. across anything like that? Um, I say technology is so crazy now. Like, yeah. you got to look for all these things. And people are like, oh, I found this or that. Yeah. And a lot of times it's just, you know, that's it's not like an illegal device. So. And yeah. they share the vehicle. Like, they're still right. married. So Correct. Then, even if it wasn't AirTag and not AirPods. Right. And, it, and if you ask me, let's just say I'm the husband in that situation. You come question me, post Miranda, hopefully. I'm saying, hey, we share this car. If this car gets stolen, I'm going to be able to find it. It wasn't for her. That's it. What can we prove at that point? Nothing. All right. The ugly one that I don't want to talk about because I... Why not? Because, A... Florida man strikes again. Well, it's not really Florida <laughs> man, but we'll come up, we'll circle back to that. Mm -hmm. the Daytona mm -hmm. triple play with the two POS parents from Georgia on the beach. Yeah, you know. Yeah. All right, triple play. You made it on there, but with the kids, that uh, that takes it to the next level. It's like yeah, I hate to see it. Gets my blood boiling. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. You're a father. You're a father. I'm a father. Um, and that really, that sucks for mm -hmm. me because, you know, the kids are the most innocent among us. And this is what you're doing to these kids. And if you're doing this on vacation, imagine what's happening at home. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't worry about the booze. That was it. One can only imagine. Um, tough situation. I did not check to see if they were still in or not. I, um, probably not. But they took up residence in the Volusia County Grants Jail where they belonged. Yep. And uh, the kids were... Probably turned over to grandpa. Yeah, family members. Because yeah. DCF really wouldn't get it. Because they're not from here, right? They're Georgia. From Georgia, yeah. DCF would help, but it's better to get family involved when you're not far away from home. Uh, yeah, so Florida strikes again. Florida. <laughs> not a, Flo a Georgia man. Florida Georgia line. They crossed it. <laughs> they became Floridians. Blurred the lines, night. baby. Blurred lines. That's it. Yeah. Um, lastly, uh, for Friday, I saw was Hazen Dillion doing the searching. Yeah. So let me ask you this. Here we go. Person driving says, okay, I got some drugs right here. Mm -hmm. That's what I got. Mm -hmm. He says, okay. And he starts doing his little investigation, going through the vehicle. Do you just bring another dog and just say, okay, like, let's let the dog just snip out whatever else is in this car or what? Refresh my memory. What was the drug? Was it? It was weed. weed. Okay. Well, I say just weed, but right, right. You know, obviously, it's still legal in most places. Right. So, in Florida, the great state of Florida, as I call it, if you can smell the narcotics, you don't bring the dog um, ever, um, because the smell, the plain smell, is what we call it um, by statute, is enough for us to search the vehicle. We get searched it extensively throughout the vehicle, trunk, everywhere. We're not tearing it apart, but we can pretty much check everywhere that it's not locked. So, um, no, you wouldn't bring the dog for that. Um, 
And if they're being honest with you, a lot of times they're being honest with you. Now, I've run into the situation where they say, oh, it's just weed. And then there's a bag of fentanyl in the trunk, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. you have to do your due diligence and check. But, uh, yeah, no, no need for a dog. And a lot of times the dog's going to hit regardless. Got but he's not going to differentiate cocaine, heroin, marijuana. So, so he's just going to do his little thing and it's just going to be. Yep. Yeah, if I can smell it, the dog can definitely smell it. Keep that in mind, dog owners. <laughs> She's being a good dog for now. She's for always now. a good girl. No. No. She's waiting to tear something up. Yeah, she she always is. <laughs> uh, jumping over Saturday night. Well, before uh, we before we go oh. to Saturday night, I did want to mention something else about Friday. Where was Chief Taylor? Where? Where was the chief? Uh, you know, I tried to call him a few times and he didn't answer. Nah, probably hunting or something. Likely or hunting with this child. Yeah, That's baseball a, games, football yeah, games. Yeah. He's probably a coach. He's a busy man. He's yeah. a pastor. All the things. The minister, he's a sheriff, he's everything, right? He's a clinician, if you will. But I thought that was pretty cool. And what you start to see is, uh, I mentioned this in one of my social media posts, uh, if you're working five days a week, four days a week, three days a week, during the week, and then you're doing the show on the weekends, it gets very taxing on the mind and the body. You have to take some time, whatever you can. And I think he's done a good job getting Sergeant Dillon, um, or did you say Dillion or Dillon? Dillion. Dillion, so he's, I'm sorry. That's Louisiana? Uh, That's fancy. Uh, French? Uh, yeah. uh, Maybe. Ready for the for the, for the proceedings uh, this week. And he did a great job holding it down. Yep. Obviously, you're not going to get that that same, you know, je ne sais toi from him as you're going to get from, from the, the chief. But it worked out masterfully. So shout out to you, Sergeant DeLeon. Appreciate your, your, your hard work and your service. Yep. Does a good job. I like him, too. Yeah, he's not bad at all. Uh, Lee County had the reckless driver. Man, that was... To me, it's sketchy. To you, it might just be normal, the way he just went down the back road and then just turned down some random driveway with, like, wood and stuff and then a fence, and yeah. it was just a beat-up vehicle, and I was like, oh, man, I was like, this has bad written all, because where is he going? Like, does mm -hmm. he really know the people at the house? Mm -hmm. like, hey, hey, the cops are behind me. I'm Ambush. pulling in. Lay behind this log. Mm -hmm. As soon as he comes, that's it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that was a little nerve-wracking. Uh, right. But I guess that's some of the scenarios you just get thrown into. Correct. And that's what we're talking You're, you're hitting the nail on the head. Um, it's not normal for regular motorists or citizens to see the cops trying to pull them over and then go down a random dirt road or private property and attempt to uh, elude you. And if they're not eluding you, what are they doing? Are they setting me up for an ambush type situation? You don't know. And this gets very, very, very disheartening. Um, you're gonna almost feel it in, in your backbone and your hair is on the back of your neck stand up and you're like, I don't like any of this. Mm -hmm. uh, I think he handled it very well. Um, and the guy ended up going to jail. He was trying to pull the I'm on home base card, like private property. No, mm -hmm. Fella, you were driving on the road, sure. you know, whether it's dirt, or you just stopped in somebody's driveway, right. home right. base. That's right. Yeah, try to pull the, I'm not going for a DUI, you know, the lawyer thing and all that stuff. They just You're dealing with LEL, not MLB, the same baseball. Ain't no home base. No I, home base. When and I turn the blue lights on, you stop. That's what the statute says. I, you know, you can't say I got great lawyers and then your busted up truck has no back window and all this stuff. It's just, we're going to call your bluff, fella. Everybody's got a great lawyer. Uh, <laughs> He thinks they're going to jail, uh, wrongly accused. Yeah, I'm going to sue you. You get sued all the time, right? All the sometimes time. Sometimes you know about it, sometimes you don't. That's correct. I got in a crash once. Quick story. Story time. <laughs> story time. Uh, I got in a crash once, right? Uh, I, had a, I was doing a traffic stop on Speedway. It started raining out during the traffic stop. Towards the end of the stop, a person's shot call comes out just blocks away. I'm in a uh, Crown Vic. So you know Crown Vic's rear-wheel rear -wheel drive, right? Yeah, yeah, You uh, didn't pay attention in the driving course when we had the plastic <laughs> things on there? <laughs> I give this person their license back, say, go, you're good. And I get around them, and I turn one corner on the Seagrave, game over. 
the back end came loose. Somebody was coming out of a driveway, smacked them. We both smacked a pole. Oh, no. Uh, oh, nobody was injured. Thank God. A few weeks later, Boff tells him, he's like, um, yeah, we're getting sued for that crash. I'm like, huh? Sued? I said, am I in trouble? Am I getting indicted? Uh, don't worry about it. We'll take care of it. Whew, thank God. FHP shows up and they did the crash. He said, your blue lights are on. You're safe. You can support the policy. You're good to go. And I was like, oh, thank God. So, stroke a check. It happens. It does. Sue me. So when do you work again? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, uh, Fontana, back to them. They had the fleeing vehicle with the pregnant lady in there. What was up? Listen, that was just random that the cop was just sitting there, but the mm-hmm. dude like backed up, probably was stuck in traffic. was like, oh, I'm just going to go left. Yeah. And then he just blew the red light. Huh. Officer, great job, saw it, said, I'm going to go. They went. They went. Yeah, <laughs> they did. They went. Well, we, we never found out if the guy was drunk or high. We don't know. We don't know. I mean, I was thinking drunk, but Car you know, was also, also, you know, airbag, smoke, and yeah. broken leg, all the things. But yeah. that's what I was thinking was drunk. But So what they would have to do then at that point is, uh, in the great state of Florida, we would uh, get blood um, from that injured driver uh, since he cannot do field sobriety exercises. And charges would be pending based on the results of that blood, that blood test. Um, and, you know, it's, it's not a difficult thing to do. You write the tickets for the fleeing and loot, you do the charges, and you do another separate affidavit after the results of the blood comes back, if that's the case. But the most important thing is the pregnant female. Yep. For me. Um, I, yeah, 100%. Because, yeah. you know, something happened to him, like, that's eh, secondary yeah. compared to her and right. the child. Correct. Correct. Um, the... So does he get another charge for endangering her life, or is that just... That's a great question, Jim. I don't know. I just, some things I just think of, I'm like, I need to know. Still in Fontana, the guy on the bicycle, man. Just, he thought he was going to yeah. rip by that cop. And, yeah, keep it going. Yeah. Just take he, off. He tried. He, like, ended up in the wolves' den with all the other... Uh, that was not a good situation, though. Near to Wells. Yeah. That was not great for him. No. Luckily, they didn't do any... I know, I was, you know, that's one of the things you got to, you just jumped in there and there's three extra people you didn't know about. Yep. Yep. A lot of, and people will ask me a lot of times in person or on social media or, or whatever online, they'll say, don't you worry when you're walking up to a car, three or four people in it, or when you do a stop and there's four or five people hanging out around, um, worry, no, um, I'm not so I don't don't have tombstone courage, however. So we're always evaluating our surroundings, right? But the most important thing is the person I'm trying to deal with at that time is him, because those other people can become a distraction, and he can produce a weapon at that time, and then then you're in a jackpot. So you don't get nervous. You just get very cautious. Be smart. Call out for other units. Do what you got to do. Let's keep it moving. You never know what may happen, but. We pray to God and we, uh, you know, do us right. And hopefully it works out for us at the end of the day. Yeah, for sure. It worked out for him. Everybody wants to go home. Everybody wants to go. I mean, yeah. whether it's jail or home, everybody wants to go yeah. someplace besides, <laughs> besides six feet under. Right, right, so, right. It's in the back of everybody's head. Yep, no question. Uh, Indian River, the POS that was beating up his stepmom and then ran from the cops. Great, great job by them. They put in some work. Yes, they did. The dog. Yeah. The helicopter. Yeah. Night vision Night goggles. Vision. Was I was awesome. so jealous. I was like, man. Was I was crazy. like, all they needed was a thermal camera. Shout out to Officer Lee and K9 Knox. Knox, yeah. Knox. Whoa. Heck of a job, man, because, you know, it was thick back there. It was. And I thought he was a juvenile at first when they said he beat up his mom. You know, I think we all thought that. Right. Like, we were all thinking a kid. Like, right. But, I mean, still kids do adult things. But yeah. when they pulled all El Chapo out of the bushes, I was like, Oof. what is going <laughs> on? I was like, it's a grown man. Grown man, baby. I'll punch him in the face. Messed up, up his, his stepmom. I'm glad he got dog bit. Man. Yeah, he deserved that. I will tell you, my dog nips. Mm-hmm. And it hurts. What kind of dog is it? A Belgian Malinois. Yeah. A Malligator. Uh-huh. And 
<laughs> she bites. It's all play. Yeah. Those dogs ain't playing. No. So I don't want to know. No. I put the sleeve on, and man, my whole arm is beat up. Yep. yep. So, yeah, I yeah. don't want to ever get dog bit. Yeah, yeah, it's never good. For real. No, seriously. If you commit a crime, please don't first. Let's start there, right? Public service announcement. PSA. Don't commit crimes. But if you do, don't run. You're gonna, especially if you do a felony, because you're, you're gonna go to jail tired and probably injured if a dog's involved. Yeah. Um, because they don't play. They live to find you. And they live to chase you, and then they will live to eat you. Yeah. Those <laughs> magical words. <laughs> <laughs> Man, where's my baby? He's playing over there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> um, Daytona. Mm-hmm. Guys pulling over the people in the, the BMW. Oh lord, not an Infinity. An actual BMW, the convertible, right? <laughs> that was nice. Yeah, nice wheel, that was a nice car. Yeah. Uh, no seatbelts. Mm-hmm. That'll get you hemmed up real quick, especially right? in the convertible. I mean, come on. I mean, really. It, it's what they look for, right? They look for the little things to to find the big things. Correct. Correct. I mean, That's... nobody really is like, oh, seatbelt ticket anymore. Right. No. Right nobody. Doing it. Now, there's a campaign uh, yearly, Click It or Ticket. Yep. In which we target uh, people who do not have um, their seatbelts on. Okay, cool. But usually, yes, we're trying to stop you for a seatbelt violation. We're looking for something more. Something more nefarious. So I thought the girl, though, was going to give us a little more trouble. Yeah, because, you know, she wanted to start mouthing off. And I was like, you just look suspicious now. If y'all just... Just relax. Yeah, go search it. It's, you know, mm-hmm. you already know it's in there. Like, right. Just they, be honest. Yeah. Just, just search and see what happens. Yeah. You know, they find it okay. Or just tell the truth. And be like, here's my... Right. Here's my friend's... Uh, yeah, it was in the glove box, right? Yeah. Or whatever. And it said something on the container. What did it say? Something like, good day to smoke uh, weed or something? Good day it? to get high? Something <laughs> like that. Something yeah. like that. Ask him with trouble. Not in its original dispensary container. No, Are you sure? Or no sure wasn't <laughs> that original? wasn't original. <laughs> it was original to them. They thought that was funny. So. <laughs> but uh, Officer Lee and Lieutenant were fair. Uh, fair but yeah. fair. Yeah, yeah. They right. were. They were. You know, it's the community policing thing, right? Correct. Sometimes you can let one go and go for bigger fish. Not just people out smoking weed on a Saturday night in a convertible with no seatbelts on. Well, he had a seatbelt on, just in some weird manner. Yeah, not right. Not the right way. All right, all right. Nice car, that fella. Shout out to your car. Nice. Um, good times. Hazen. Uh, Delion got the guy that just pull over and then throw my drugs out the car. And then he had more drugs in the trunk. So why do you throw those out? And well, you, you couldn't get to the trunk. That's probably why. <laughs> At least he didn't flee. This is true. This is true. That would have worked out very bad. Those guys in action. <laughs> we missed that one. Yeah. Yeah. The rollover from two weeks yeah. ago. Anyway, no comment. But here's what I will say. Um, last week they had a situation where a guy got out of a car and turns away from the officer and tossed the drugs out. And everybody noticed it on the show. I'm not sure if they ever found that, that note. Let us know in the comments. Did they ever find that? I don't know. I don't know either. But it was all over social media. People were slowing down and pausing TV. Listen, you know it was crack or pills or something. People are eagle eyes. Oh my goodness. I'll watch stuff on YouTube and I'll be like, ooh, yeah, this is good. And literally the guy turns the corner and it was it was like that big. And yeah. it went out the passenger side of the window. Yeah. And people in the comments are like, go back to this time mm-hmm. and there's he threw something out the window. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, Y'all are crazy for mm-hmm. seeing that. Like mm-hmm. I'm just watching the video. It wasn't slowed down or anything. Mm-hmm. I was like, what are they talking about? Right. I went back like four times. I was like, man, I was like, people are yeah. crazy about no, they're catching good. the littlest things. They're good. They're yeah. good. They're good. I appreciate that too. And a lot of times what'll happen is those viewers are watching it live. They'll start putting stuff on the on patrol live official channel uh, page or X or 
they'll even email stuff in. And then because it's live, um, we can go back and check that stuff um, pretty quick and um, make the right uh, call for that time. So interesting stuff. And we appreciate all of you guys' help because um, we can't see everything. Even now in the sky, mm -hmm. this is something. Looks like you need three cameras. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> um, Daytona, man, they had that traffic stop that was just chaos. Absolutely wild. Chaos. Absolutely wild. How, how do you just? How do you control something like that? Do you just say uh, we're done? Like just everybody disperse, or do you just? Yeah, at some point we do, um, but. A lot of times that's happening because something more is afoot. So they're trying to, like I said, distract us. They're mm -hmm. trying to make a big deal, get people involved from outside of the traffic stop and all that and create a fuss for no reason. Normal, and there's a caveat to what I'm saying, normal law-abiding citizens don't act like that on regular traffic stops. I mean, we've seen dozens, if not hundreds of traffic stops all over the show. You don't see people doing that often. Um, but when they are doing it, they're doing it for a reason normally. So uh, all the extra hoopla, I find a lot of time is just a distraction to get us to, you know, leave. get on out of here. Get out of here. We're, we're, we got we'll other things this. we're trying to do. Yeah. All right. No, it doesn't work. They were very lucky that everybody didn't go to jail. Because uh, they've easily found charges on, on, on at least two of those people for the verbal threats and things of like that. Yeah, 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 I heard some yeah. of them. I was like, ooh, yeah. are we skating on thin ice? Right, on, of, uh... right on the line. Right on the line. So <laughs> I think they're looking more for, you know, narcotics, yeah, yeah, yeah. firearms, things of that nature. And if that's not a part of what you're hunting for, a lot of time, times you let people go, you work it out later. They'll, they'll be traffic stopped again. I promise you that. Yep. I, I rec coming I, back full circle, I, right? I, I recognized them both. So <laughs> stopped them before. I was like, this oh, guy. These two. This guy probably wasn't the same car, though, huh? Absolutely not. So. All right. Berkeley County. Oh. That big old lizard that was on the road. Dude. That was some Florida man stuff. It was. It In was. Berkeley. I was like, did they say the wrong city and state? Because <laughs> they heard, I heard alligator. Yeah. I was like, there's no way. So interesting fact, there are alligators in South Carolina, but no alligators in North Carolina, allegedly. Now, there was a gator in New York a few weeks ago, so there might be gators in North Carolina. Okay. But statistically speaking, there aren't many gators in North Carolina. And here this poor gator is in the middle of the road. Now, there was speculation that that gator had been hit or hurt. Nothing looked out of place on the gator, yeah. arms or legs or... Yeah. Arms, legs, all arms, all legs. Tail? Put it in the comment. All arm? Do they have two arms and two legs, or do they have all arms? Do they have all legs? I don't know what gators have. Two in the front, two in the back. Tell us. Um, it looked fine, but it did look lethargic. It didn't look like it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Happy to be in the road. Correct. But off the officer deputy, I, Corporal yeah, Lee, did a great job. Shout out Dylan Lee. He tugging, sent me a badge that, the other day. Tugging that thing out of the road. I wouldn't have done that. I was gonna ask if you'd do that. Nah. Why not? No, 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 no. Why not? No, no, no. Put, it was chill. Put, no. It was chill. Put it in you the would, comments. Would you grab a gator by the tail or get it out of the road, or would you let the professionals handle? I'm not a professional. We got FWC for that. Gators are protected in Florida. We can't even touch them by law, actually. I mean, cops can't touch gators what? by law. This would be a chance <laughs> to, to touch the, a dinosaur. To go viral and be an actual Florida man. Wrestle the gator hey. a little bit. It ain't uncommon in Florida. Have you ever seen that clip of Bob Barker putting the rag on that gator's head? Yeah. In that ditch? Yeah, we ain't talking about <laughs> wrangling. We're just talking about pull his tail. Man. Somebody had a comment on X. They were like, who had a gator crossing the road to get the Waffle House in their bingo card? Because there was the Waffle House right in the background. Waffle House. Did you know that has a secret menu? Or a full menu? What? That menu that you look at isn't the full menu. I know a guy who works at Waffle House. When he comes back from out of town, I'll ask him about it. It's like a full <laughs> menu. Like, that's just the favorites. No way. Yeah, TikTok. 
I okay. was like, no. I was like, that's the menu. Like, what do you mean? There's more to it. It's a big menu. It's big. I'm gonna get a. <laughs> I'm gonna get my guy to tell me about that secret menu. Shout out to Jeff when you get back. <laughs> let me know about the secret menu. Um, Goweta County, they popped in there. Uh, he had a double pullover with the. Actually, it was kind of a triple, but it was mm-hmm. a double. It was the two. Uh, two chargers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No getting ready to race. Yeah, yeah, no question about and it. And that. Uh, that Cherokee was up there too. I guarantee that was an SRT a had, Cherokee. Had to be. They were gonna have some fun. Yeah. You ever pull two people over once? I have not. Hmm. I've tried. One of them smarter than the other. <laughs> one pulls over, another one takes That's off. It. Usually, two cars, one cop. You got to be. <laughs> this guy's too much. You got to be skilled <laughs> to pull over two cars at one time. Um, that um, <laughs> Sergeant Yakabosi did it. Shout out Sarge, Sarge Yak over in uh, Berkeley. He's done that before. That's pretty sweet. Man. And they were racing when he stopped them. Yeah, these guys are just having some fun, I think. Oh, yeah. You know Inspired. about that. You're a car guy. You've had some fun in cars before. Uh, they they pulled over. They did good. They Changed just, the subject. Uh, okay. Driver's license. Yeah. Expired registration. Got it taken care of, hopefully. And uh, on their way, they went. Nice on cars. To, on to the next one. Big old boats. Speaking of which, did you see the Challenger I had in Vegas? I did not. Okay. I missed okay. that. All right. I had a little challenger in Vegas. I'll drop a picture right up here. Nice. Yeah. Good stuff. Roast the tires. You got the insurance? I got the insurance. Oh, that means you did nefarious things. Bad Jimmy. Don't talk about that. Wait a minute. That's it's in Vegas. It's you got to have the insurance, folks. If you rent a car and you don't get the insurance, you got problems. I'm saying. You got to get it. It's true. It's, it's for other drivers, not for you. It's true. Especially in Florida. Especially in Vegas. And New York, or California, or Texas. Mm. All 50 states. Yep. <clears throat> do the right thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Good times. It was good times. You know, what I really enjoy about the show as we wrap up here is you get the full spectrum of calls, right? You don't just get traffic stops. You don't just get highway stuff. You just don't get domestics. You get a lot of stuff, and stuff you wouldn't expect. That's not the first Gator call we've had on the show, but it was still a good call, right? Um, it's not the first weed call. There are tons of weed calls. It, it just it just happens. Um, but we get to show you our lives. Um, obviously, in front of the camera and behind it, I'm really happy to do it, man. Happy to be a part of the show. Yeah? Yeah, man. Looking forward to being back. Yeah. We're both looking forward to being back and more episodes to come. Not sure what day I'll be on, if I'm on at all. If you guys want me back, let me know. We'll, we'll see. You want, you want me back? My boy. Yeah. It's a wrap, my boy. Good times. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>